Good evening guys, welcome to tonight's video. So I wanted to do a quick one tonight on sort of slip ups because it's something that, you know, especially with it being a Monday, um, I always see people panicking because maybe they overindulge a little bit over the weekend as such. And I just wanted to try and sort of put that in perspective for people. So basically your results um, in your weight loss as such are going to come from what you do the majority of the time, not on rare occasions, okay? So they're not going to be sort of predicated by what you do on very rare occasions, you know, especially times like, you know, people panic on, you know, sort of like Christmas Day or New Year's Day or um, the holidays that they go on or the birthday parties that you go to throughout the year. These aren't going to define your journey, okay? It's what you do in between those moments because those moments as a collective are a very small percentage of your whole year, okay? So unless you went completely, you know, insane over them, I mean, to be fair, even if you did, it wouldn't make a difference because it's a tiny, tiny percentage of your whole year. It's what you do in between these moments that matters more, Okay, now obviously these need to be rare and they still need to be controlled in a sense, but it doesn't mean you still can't have fun and enjoy yourself. Okay, now it's very easy to say, and everybody would love to strive for 100% consistency, but it's probably not, in fact, it's not possible. Okay, strive for it 100%, but don't just be disappointed when you don't get there because it's just not possible. You know, most people can strive for, you know, 70, 80% at the most and still get the results that they want. And then they can enjoy themselves 20, 30% of the time within reason, of course, okay? Now, it'll be very easy to say, okay, lock yourself away, you know, um, we'll hit 100% consistency until you reach your weight. But let's be honest, that would be no fun at all, you know? Um, nobody wants to go to a wedding, for example, and sit there eating a salad and drinking water, you know, this this needs to you need to still enjoy yourself, okay? And you can still enjoy yourself whilst getting results, okay? And I want to make that absolutely clear. Now, sort of in summary, just don't stress about these things, okay? Because we all do it. You're not the odd one out. We all you know, have these moments where maybe we indulge I don't like to call it a slip up because it's not, because it's it almost makes it sound like you've done something wrong when you haven't, because like I say, it is totally normal. Um, and the best thing that you can do when these things happen is accept that it happened, accept that it's normal, it happened, it will happen again. Try and analyse it. So try and analyse why it happened. You know, why did you, you know, eat more than what you normally would, for example? And you may find that you start to recognise patterns and this can help you to maybe control them a bit more in the future. And finally, and most importantly, move on. You know, get over it as such, you know, because just like anything else that has happened in the past, you cannot change the fact that it happened. And dwelling on it isn't gonna make it any better. It's not gonna change the fact that it happened. So get over it and get on with it, okay? Because like I say, what you do the majority of the time is what matters, not those rare instances. It's what you do in between those that makes a difference, okay? Now, um, I want to make sort of a quick side note on because I think a lot of the time when people overindulge it comes from this labeling of good versus bad foods and I will do I think another video on this to sort of go into it a bit more depth but very quickly I hate the labels good and bad food okay mainly because there are no good and bad foods everything in moderation is fine and the majority of foods if you have too little or not uh, or too much it is bad for you. If I told you to name me a good food, for example, or, you know, you would say to me, for example, that water is good for you, okay? And that is good to have. But if you have too much water, it can kill you, okay? So is it good? Well, yeah, it's good in moderation, just like everything else, okay? And I think a lot of sort of slip-ups, 
um, or instances where people eat more than what they normally do come from this. So for example, let's say pizza. Most people would say that pizza is a bad food. So what happens when they have pizza, they say, well, I've had some bad food. I may as well have a little bit more now and then I'll get on the good foods again tomorrow. And that just turns into, you know, it takes one meal of indulgence to a weekend or a day, okay? Whereas if you'd have said, and you get rid of these good and bad labels and you say, right, I've ate really well this week, I like pizza, I'm gonna have some, you will after that say, okay, that's fine, I've had it, it's not bad for me, it's fine in moderation, and you're probably more likely just to get back on track soon and not extend that, because you're not gonna feel as guilty for having it because it's not a bad food. Okay, so that's just like a quick side note. Um, like I said, I will do a video on that on its own to go in a bit more depth. But get rid of good and bad food labels, okay? Because they're not good for anything, okay? So there's a video for tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that and took some value from it. I always appreciate like, comments, and shares. Um, it is my motivation and my fuel to keep going. If you are not watching this on my YouTube, please feel free to check that out. Um, it's just my name as it is on here, Nathan Bancroft. I put all of my videos on there, all free advice on weight loss, fitness, nutrition, etc. Um, so feel free to check that out because obviously it's got all the videos in a nice, easy, convenient space. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in and I shall see you on the next video.